Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and let's take a look at setting up a lightweight IDE for your Go coding. So I'm over here at the vscodium.com website. Now VS Codium is just the free and open source binary for VS Code. And if you scroll down on this page, there's some installation instructions. So we'll come down to our computer, which is an Ubuntu computer. And the first thing we want to do is we want to add this GPG key. So I'm going to grab this line here, and I'll copy this. Make sure I get the whole thing there. I'll start at the side and copy down. Control C to copy. And then I'm just going to open my terminal. So I'll type terminal. Let me expand this and bump up the size a little bit. And I'll paste that in here. Just add my password. OK. And then let's add the repository. So copy this next line. Press enter. And then finally, I'll come over here and I'll do an apt update and an install of Codium. So the update will update my package manager and then it'll just install the Codium binary. Okay, now that that's installed, we can come up here and look for VS Codium. And you'll see right there, I'll press enter to start that up. And here we are, I can expand this window. And now the bulk of the work that we're going to do is going to come from one of these extensions. Luckily for Go, the Go extension does most of the work for us here. So let's grab this and let's press install. Now this is going to give us a lot of features like IntelliSense. It's going to give us syntax highlighting, error checking, and some of the autocomplete functions. It's going to automatically format our code. Okay, so once it's installed, let's just do a file, new file, save our file as main.go, and we'll just put this on our desktop for now. And that way we know it's a Go file here. So if we were to run something like func main, and we were to do something like format print line and I could say hello and then control s to save that you see down here this says go returns command is not available so we need to run go get the go returns to install so let's run this install all right now You can see we have an output here. It's running through these different things here. So it installed Go code and some packages here. Okay, so it says our tools were installed successfully. Let's come back up here. If I try to resave this file, so I just did Control S and look that it did a couple things for us. So it automatically added our package here, our main package. It did an automatic import of this format package, which we're using down here in the print line. So it does auto imports for you. It formats your code. So for instance, if we had poorly indented code here and I did a control save, it's going to automatically push it over here. If we had code that's not correct, like if we did PP print line, which is not a method, if I come in down here and I try to save this, it's going to say that this is undefined. So this is a really helpful plugin to add. This is really the main thing that you're going to need for your Go development. There's some other nice to have plugins that you can add here. So for instance, I like to add the material icons right here, this material icon theme. So basically what that does is it takes your file browser and it gives you nice icons here. So we don't have a folder open, so you, there's nothing to actually see here, but I'm going to add this. Feel free to skip if you don't want it. Okay, I'm going to activate it. And then another plugin I like to add is Git Graph. And this basically will just give you a nicer output for your Git history. So it'll look something like this once you install it. So in this case, our project does not have a Git history because we're not tracking anything with Git right now. But once you get into a more fledged out project, 
it'll likely have some kind of version control. So that would be really nice to have as well. So that's basically all you need to get going, starting with an IDE for VS Codium uh, doing Go development. So hopefully that helps you out. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and, and stay tuned to our channel for more Go tutorials in the future. Thanks.